Hi, this is Alex with a video demonstrating some of the new features available in the user interface of GV Stratus version 4.8. Sometimes I have assets in the system with a large number of markers defined on the timeline, which might get in my way as I'm working with those assets. It's now possible to hide markers from the inspector timeline using a new feature. Within the marker palette, there is now a new control which allows me to toggle whether markers are visible or not. I can also use a new keyboard shortcut control question mark to toggle markers on and off. We've also added some new capabilities to the dashboard panel which can be made available to individual users or groups of users within the Stratus application or the control panel application. Our new statistics panel allows me to see what my system has been doing during the last 60 minutes. Right now we can display stats for five key parameters which include how many change notices my system is handling, how many assets are in my system, how many user sessions my system has been handling, so I can for example check whether I have enough licenses at peak times of the day, how many system sessions my system has been handling, and how many assets are in the largest bins within my system. This is the first stage of planned expanded statistics support within GV Stratus. More on this in later releases. Finally, we'd like to show you another handy new feature available within the Stratus Inspector. Often my content has been logged by multiple users who may create keywords which are marker regions within and out points, which later need to be archived or may be used for editing. Often I only want to transfer or archive these regions of my clip, but previously I would have to manually create any subclips needed for these regions to avoid transferring the whole master clip. Now, within the inspector, I can browse and select the keywords which interest me, and I can create subclips directly from them in one process. I can select any or all of the keywords within my clip as required and convert them to subclips. I can name each subclip as I see fit or allow the system to name them for me with incremental names. Many thanks for watching. There are more GV Stratus videos on our YouTube channel and I look forward to bringing you news of more great features very soon.